So I've got the sliding bolt that I made here. And then, like I said, I wanted to just let this rust. But in order to speed that up, I'm going to just dump it in a bath of uh, vinegar. And this in this container here, I've got uh, oh, a bunch of old rusted up uh, rice rice vinegar. But, you know, you can just use... Uh, you know, just distilled white vinegar, which I think, you know, like in the States is made from corn, but this in Taiwan here, this is uh, rice vinegar, but it's very similar. It's just a weak acid, basically. So I'll just plop that in, make sure it's submerged in there, cover it up, and then just leave that in for a day or two. And then when you pull that out, or when I pull that out, and it'll, it, you know, wash it off with a little bit of water and leave it out, and it'll rust it'll rust instantly then so it just kind of speeds up the rusting process and that can be very pleasing for some pieces so we'll check back in in a day or two on this and I'll show you what the result what the result is okay so I've had the uh, sliding bolt in the vinegar bath here for two days now so that should be plenty long so let's take a look you know and basically you know using this weak acid will eat away at the scale on the piece. So, you know, this could serve two purposes. It could help to speed up the rusting process, or it could help you to remove that scale if you were wanting to polish a piece. So I, I often use this method for that for that latter reason as well. You know, when I want to, for example, if the scale is very heavy on a hammer, and you don't want to do too much wire brushing, you know, using a wire wheel, then if you put it in a, a bath of vinegar, you know, for a few days, for a day at least, then it helps to break that scale up. So, see what it looks like. Wow, what a mess down in here. Oh, <laughs> I've had this vinegar for a while, so. All right, so let's set this aside and let's get this water over here and see. So, I mean, look at that right off the bat. I'm just like using my finger. I don't know if you can notice this, but watch the scale just wipe away just with my finger rubbing on that look at how it is on the the bolt here watch just that blackness just wipes right off and so what that does is let's look at the back side quick take a wire brush here let's see look at that just gently with this not even a stiff wire brush and you can see how the scale just comes wiping right off so I'm just exposing the bare metal here and you know even that look what what I like about this look and I was doing this for a period for my hammers is this kind of a matte gray finish that you attain you know if you just were to clean it off in water like this and just rub it gently you could see it attains like a matte gray finish, which is pretty cool. So if it, at this point, if I was to clean that off and then apply oil to that, you know, it, it should prevent any rusting then, and, uh, and then this piece will have that nice matte gray look to it. So that's appropriate, I think, for some pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, yeah, brush it off a little bit like this here. And then now what I'll do is, and I don't know if you can, you probably can't notice this, but it's already started rusting right here. So, especially in Taiwan's humid climate, I'm just going to leave this out now, and I'll come back in a little bit and show you what it looks like then, show you how it's rusted up. Okay, so here it is, uh, only just about one hour later. And so I'll hold it up closer, and you can see how quickly rust is starting to form. And it really picks up pace exponentially then. So you can see the backside's really rusted. See the top here. So, you know, you could leave the piece in the vinegar longer, or you can experiment with different types of vinegar. I found the, the distilled white stuff in America to be a little bit stronger, but, you know, this serves the purpose to get it, like I said, get that scale off and get, and get the rust started. Once it starts, it spreads very quickly. And here's a piece I made a while back, but it got to this level of rust fairly quickly. You know, I'd say it was like this within two weeks. It looked like this. Very pitted, very uniform rust. So, you know, in short order, this piece should look like that. And that'll really give it an antique 
rustic look then. So, hope you've enjoyed. See you next time.